From broken bones to COVID to mobility challenges, Queen Elizabeth has overcome several health scares, but her absence from recent royal events have some people worried. Throughout her reign, Queen Elizabeth has faced a multitude of personal and political struggles, but the monarch has a history of battling health problems without much fuss and swiftly returning to her duties. In 1994, Queen Elizabeth broke her left wrist after a horse-riding accident, per the Associated Press. The Queen's horse tripped, which caused her to fall, Buckingham Palace told reporters at the time. Luckily, the break wasn't serious, and the Queen didn't even realize she had broken a bone until 24 hours later. The monarch had actually gotten back on her horse and finished her ride, brushing off the discomfort as a bruise before later receiving an official diagnosis. Almost 30 years later, Queen Elizabeth still rides her horses. While she did take a break from riding in 2021 after experiencing some discomfort, people reported that she's since gotten back on her horse, just as she did in 1994. Nearly 10 years after her horse riding accident, a 76-year-old Queen Elizabeth underwent knee surgery. At the time, Buckingham Palace told CNN, Queen Elizabeth II has had a successful operation to remove a torn cartilage from her right knee. Prior to the procedure, the Queen had been using a walking cane for the first time to assist with her mobility. As CNN reported, the 45-minute minor operation carried out under general anesthetic came after the Queen twisted her knee while walking on uneven ground during a visit to Newmarket Racecourse in Suffolk, Eastern England, before Christmas. Buckingham Palace told reporters the Queen was expected to recover fully within just a few weeks of the surgery. Although she took a step back from making any official appearances at the time, she reportedly made a quick recovery after recuperating at her Sandringham home. The Queen stayed in good health for the next decade. However, in 2013, Queen Elizabeth II was taken to the hospital for gastroenteritis, according to The Guardian. She had been scheduled to take a trip to Rome, but was forced to cancel after experiencing symptoms of the stomach flu. Buckingham Palace said that the Queen's admission to hospital was simply a precautionary measure, with a representative telling The Guardian, The Queen is being assessed at the King Edward VII Hospital, London, after experiencing symptoms of gastroenteritis. As a precaution, all official engagements for this week will regrettably be either postponed or cancelled. Despite having the stomach bug, royal spokespeople told reporters that the Queen remained in good spirits. The Queen left the hospital with a smile on her face after a few days, per CNN. Queen Elizabeth II and Prince Philip caught heavy colds around Christmas in 2016. The two were forced to postpone their holiday travel plans to the Sandringham Estate in Norfolk. As reported by NBC News, a royal spokesman said in a statement, The Queen and the Duke of Edinburgh have heavy colds and so have decided not to travel to Sandringham today. However, they seemingly only had to postpone their trip by one day, per Mercury News. Because of the delay, Queen Elizabeth and Prince Philip took a helicopter to Sandringham rather than their usual train. 2021 was a tumultuous year for the Queen, with the monarch facing multiple health complications. However, the year started on a good note with her vaccination against the COVID-19 virus. In a video call with the National Health Service, Queen Elizabeth said, It is obviously difficult for people to, if they've never had a vaccine, because they ought to think about other people rather than themselves. However, the Queen found herself in hospital for an overnight stay that October. According to Reuters, the palace revealed in a statement, Following medical advice to rest for a few days, the Queen attended hospital on Wednesday afternoon, October 20th, for some preliminary investigations, returning to Windsor Castle at lunchtime today, and remains in good spirits. The following month, Queen Elizabeth missed the annual Remembrance Day service, with the palace explaining in a statement to NPR, The Queen, having sprained her back, has decided this morning with great regret that she will not be able to attend today's Remembrance Sunday service at the Cenotaph. Her Majesty is disappointed that she will miss the service. Queen Elizabeth has dealt with mobility issues throughout 2022. She even made a joke about it in a meeting with two of her defense secretaries. When asked how she was feeling, the Queen said, Well, as you can see, I can't move. Despite her mobility problems, the Queen was still in good spirits, but later that month, Queen Elizabeth tested positive for COVID-19. Due to her age, the monarch is more at risk of hospitalization as a result of contracting the virus. Understandably, royal fans were relieved when the palace announced that the Queen was only experiencing mild cold-like symptoms as a result of COVID-19. Later, the Queen described her experience with the coronavirus, revealing during one Zoom engagement, It, it does leave one very tired and exhausted, doesn't it, this horrible and pandemic. In May 2022, the monarch found that some of her health issues were exacerbated, and a royal statement to Reuters explained, 
the queen continues to experience episodic mobility problems and, in consultation with her doctors, has reluctantly decided that she will not attend the state opening of Parliament. The state opening is the main ceremonial event of the year for the UK's parliament, and the Queen's absence was unusual. However, Prince Charles stood in for his mother, accompanied by Prince William. Queen Elizabeth was also forced to sit out some of her Platinum Jubilee activities in June, although she did attend the annual Trooping the Colour Parade, much to the delight of royal fans all over the world.